Welcome. My name is Gene Sheridan. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Navitas. So I'm super excited to tell you a little bit about our technology and our company. We started about eight years ago, which is not a lot of time in the world of technology, but we're off to a great start with some pretty cool stuff. We're making power supplies and power electronics a pretty interesting field. And I'm going to tell you why we think that's important for our planet, for our industry, and for you to win some pretty cool chargers when we're done talking about all this stuff. Um, so first things first, let's t start with kind of a bigger picture. And it's something I'm personally passionate about and our company is very committed to. And you guys hear about the electrification of a lot of things. How do we get rid of fossil fuels? A lot of people know coal-fired power plants are still the majority of our energy supply. And this new renewables, solar and power mainly, these are creating electricity directly without any fossil fuels, which means they have zero carbon footprint. Fossil fuels has a limited supply, is very inefficient, um, and it creates a carbon impact that can be damaging to our planet. But unfortunately, if you look at the energy supply today, over 80% of the energy sources still comes from coal-fired power plants, fossil fuels, and less than 20% is renewable, things like solar and energy. Um, what you often don't know about, though, is the energy application. What do we do with that energy once we have it? That has the same problem, over 80% fossil fuel-based. We all know about electric vehicles, gas cars, moving to electric cars. That is the tip of the iceberg. Think about every power source of you do, of everything we do, gas cooking, gas heating, gas cooling, gas cleaning. Gas is used in almost everything we do from your home to the factories around the world that build things. We have the same problem. Over 80% of them are, we say, combustion because they're exploding that gasoline to create the energy source, creating those bad fumes, a lot of noise, a bad smell, using up limited fossil fuels, and it's very inefficient. 20 to 40% of the energy input is only turned into actual energy usage that you can do to move your car or heat your house or clean your clean your clothes. Well, that's a big opportunity for us on our planet. It's a big opportunity for Navitas to bring the entire world to become electrified, making electricity clean, efficient, safe, quiet, reliable, uh, and low cost, cheaper than fossil fuels. It's already happening. And we do believe it's going to happen. We're committed to making that transition in the next few decades. It will not happen overnight. We don't think fossil fuels goals to zero. The wind doesn't always blow. The sun doesn't always shine. There's going to be a combination, but we can dramatically improve that ratio from 80-20 in favor of fossil fuels to 80-20 in favor of electrified applications, electrified sources. And every time you hear numbers and facts and figures, try to remember them because that's the key to all the free stuff that we're handing out <laughs> later today. So what's also cool is not only is this good for the planet, and hopefully all of us will realize that and want to invest and move in this direction. Frankly, it makes better products. And we're going to talk a lot about that, how those products are just better, like an electric car, but also governments are starting to drive regulations. It used to be optional encouraged and back in the 80s, the 90s, the 2000s. But now you look just next year, now this year, January 1st in Europe, you cannot ship a power supply for data centers unless it meets a very high efficiency standard, over 96%. Very difficult to do with traditional silicon-based technologies, the ones we don't make, but actually very possible to do with gallium nitride or silicon carbide, the technologies we're going to talk about opening the door for everybody to easily meet these new standards and ship making more energy efficient data centers in Europe and around the world. California also a big leader in pushing and eliminated gas-based appliances and pushing to energy efficiency and electricity-based applications. All of this brings us to what our company is all about. Two new technologies, gallium nitride and silicon carbide. What are these things? For 30 years, I worked in this industry. We use silicon chips, like most people use silicon for most semiconductors. That's true in power electronics as well. But after 30 years, it's run out of steam. It's commoditized. The cost reductions aren't there. The efficiency improvements aren't there. Luckily, we've invented new technologies called compound semiconductors. It's pretty simple. They're called compound because we're compounding two different materials to, together 
create something that is actually more powerful, more efficient, and a stronger bond than silicon could have ever been. And they're actually two different ones, gallium and nitrogen combined together to create GAN, silicon and carbon created together to create silicon carbide. They actually both offer very similar big, big benefits. And I list them here, 20 times faster, imagine faster charging, but also up to three times smaller, lighter weight, higher density, 40% energy savings, and ultimately simply a cheaper way to make electrical energy for all these applications. Pretty big benefits that are going to keep getting better with each generation that we produce going forward. First, a little bit about our gallium nitride technology. On the far left is the original silicon power transistor. That's what the whole world used to make all these power electronics for the last three decades. Gallium nitride makes a really cool, fast, efficient transistor. We call it a discrete GAN. Unfortunately, the first versions of these from some of our competitors have a lot of challenges. It's hard to get them to switch fast. It's hard to get them to be reliable and robust and low cost. Luckily, with Novitas started eight years ago, that was job number one. Make that GAN transistor, GAN transistor easy to use, easy to make it go fast, efficient, cheap, simple to design. That's what we did with the invention of our first GAN fast power ICs. Back in 2021, we went to what we call our third generation called GANSense, added even more protection features, more performance advantage. And just this last year, we took that to a whole nother level, combining multiple GAN power devices with additional GANSense features, pushing those frequencies, efficiencies, and densities even higher. GAN is one field. Let me go to the next silicon carbide, the other complementary technology. We actually just bought a company that's an expert in this field, giving us now both of these technologies. And I'll explain in a minute why we have both. But here again, some excellent technical qualities already established in this field of silicon carbide technologies, hiring a very covering a very wide range of voltages, delivering very cool operation, excellent reliability with short circuit withstand time and avalanche, very fast switching and ultimately delivering high energy savings for all those applications. <clears throat> what does this mean? Gallium nitride, and I'll, it gets a little technical, but I'll explain some of the applications. GAN, the simple takeaway is good for lower power applications. Silicon carbide brings all those benefits for really big equipment where you have higher voltages and higher power. Together, because we have the leading edge version of both GAN and silicon carbide, we can cover the entire power range for the entire industry and for whatever our customers might need, allowing us to go from 20 watts where you might fast charge your phone to something like 20 kilowatts to fast charge your car to 20 megawatts where we actually make the grid infrastructure and solar and wind powered even more energy efficient, more reliable and lower cost. Let me give a few examples. This is in the charger example using gallium nitride. This is actually a Samsung charger using somebody else's GAN, what we call an MCM or discrete version of the GAN which is a little bit better than the silicon charger out there. It delivers 45 watts in a reasonably small size. But look on the right side using the GAN IC from Navitas. This switches up to six times faster, better energy saving, allowing us to deliver more power, faster charging in about one third the size, so shrinking all the components, not just the GAN chip. So a pretty amazing thing, not just comparing to silicon, but even what could happen when you use a GAN IC from Navitas compared to some competing discrete GAN solutions. Let's look at some other applications. I mentioned that data center example, that new titanium standard in Europe requiring 96% efficiency in data centers. Data centers are famously a big power hog. You probably heard they're building, they run so hot, they're building them, they're building them in colder places like Switzerland just to cool these data centers. Why are they running so hot? Part of the reason is the power supplies. The power supplies made with silicon are very inefficient. They burn up the heat. They waste the energy. The energy never even makes it to processing your data and storing your data, which is the main purpose of a data center. We fix all of that when we change those power supplies from silicon to GAN or silicon carbide, dramatically improving the efficiency, about a 10-point gain in the entire efficiency. Not only does that mean you have less electricity to power that data center, it means that it generates less heat, so you don't have to spend as much money on cooling it, ultimately saving big dollars on electricity use and thermal management costs up to the tune of $2 billion a year. Here's a third big application. I talked about renewables. Let's talk about solar. 
solar and what often goes with it is energy storage. Of course, you guys know those panels go up on your roof. There's a power supply there too. It's called the inverter. That inverter today made with silicon is very inefficient. Might only be 85 or 90% efficient. It means 10 or 15% of that energy gets burned up as heat, wasted and actually hurting your savings from what you'd otherwise expect to cut your utility costs. When we switch from silicon to GAN, we can actually deliver more power with better energy savings at a lower cost. It means you'll spend less money on the solar inverters upfront, and you'll get more free energy coming back to you for, for free, cutting your utility costs every year. In this case, our GAN or our silicon carbide technology is already in development or in production with a lot of the top brands that make those solar inverter power supplies, addressing a $4.5 billion market around the world. And third, something we can all relate to, you can see the car on the other side of this booth, electric vehicle. This is a great example. Some of the bigger examples are where you need to charge that high voltage battery inside electric vehicles. There's a lot of power. You hook it up to the power supply at your home. Today, they're pretty slow. Could take 15 hours to slow charge your electric vehicle at your home. Change that from silicon to GAN. We're working on new onboard chargers that will speed that up to three times or more. Faster charging to get the energy onto the battery, but you also want to get it efficiently off the battery and into that electric motor, which is going to extend the range and give you further driving at lower costs and also lowering the thermal um, costs inside that, um, inside that electric vehicle. Here again, a lot of content between GAN and silicon carbide, a lot of money to be made for Navitas and others. And we've already got a lot of great brands here, BYD, Mercedes AMG, Geely, um, Land Rover, Shinri, Jaguar, Saab, you can see some of the names. And a fourth application, final application, the newest one for us, we've got a whole section of our booth, about home appliances, really boring applications, been there around for a long time, refrigerators, dryers, washing machines, dishwashers, air conditioners, they all need power supplies and they all need motors or compressors to cool things, to heat, uh, heat things, or to, to push the air or to push the water, whether it's cleaning something or cooling your house. They all today use silicon-based motor controls, compressors, and power supplies. Very inefficient, very big and bulky, very wasteful, very thermally inefficient, and expensive. Here's a simple example of a silicon-based motor control done traditional, 80% efficiency. Here's what we've just designed the last six months using gallium nitride. You can see the dramatic size and reduction, but also many other benefits, reducing, in, reducing the energy lost or improving that energy savings, which is going to translate to lower electricity bills for your home appliances, while also making these things more reliable, lower system cost, and higher density home appliances. And the final part of our talk is to talk about sustainability. Not only is our chips going to make every application more energy efficient, help our entire world from fossil fuels to electrifying of these applications to help our planet, we are really walking the talk here. And by switching from silicon to GAN, not only do we make those end applications better, we're actually making our company better. Navitas, even though we're an early stage semiconductor company, is the first semiconductor on the planet to achieve what's called carbon neutral, which means we actually net, we're net zero. That's a term you've also maybe heard. We actually cons do not consume any, uh, do not emit any carbon footprint at all as a benefit of the fact that we're such an efficient, carbon efficient company making such carbon efficient chips. And you can see the dramatic 10X reduction that is planned just for 2024. And not only are the f chips more efficient by delivering power supplies and chargers, that actually have less materials because they're smaller, there's less energy waste and carbon footprints emitted from all the materials to make that final system, whether it's a charger or electric vehicle charger or a solar inverter. We actually keep track of this. We work with third-party experts that study our energy consumption, study our carbon footprint and help us measure it and predict the impact. This is looking at the CO2 energy savings by our customers when they switch from silicon to GAN this is only after a few years of production. Imagine what happens in the next decade, how these numbers can really take off. And finally, just to summarize, as I mentioned, we're now, um, we have a sustainability report. We're the first semiconductor on the planet to achieve net zero or carbon neutrality. 
we have already saved a total of 100,000 tons of CO2 in our efforts. And you can see many examples of the end application benefits when you apply GAN, how that CO2 footprint can be reduced in things like chargers, electric vehicles. And ultimately, we believe GAN and silicon carbide can impact up to six gigatons of CO2 over the next few decades. All right, with that, I thank you for sitting with me and having a little talk, and hopefully you learned a few interesting things and we can have some fun giveaways. Thank you.